There's one thing that everybody has in common in their mouth, and that's teeth, but they're not all the same. That's right, some people's teeth are way nastier than others, and I've seen lots of teeth from scales of one all the way to a hundred disgusting. So let's go ahead and start out with level one. Okay, we're starting with level one. Oh, yeah, she's got good, she's actually a hygienist. I've actually seen her stuff before. She's scaling away there, getting some calcium off. Oh, actually, look at that. She's got a black triangle. So her teeth are good, but she did not floss as much as she could have when she was a kid. And so that gum resorption actually dipped down and now you can actually see where that gum used to be, causing what we call a black triangle. We have a really big salivary deck underneath our tongue. It turns black in the tartar really, really fast. That's actually true. It's your sublingual glands down here is the thing that, you know, when you're gleeking and it shoots the water out, actually that has a lot of calcium deposits in it. And they stick to the back of your teeth and they get worse and worse and build up plaque and tartar until they look like this if you don't do it for a while. So just make sure you brush your teeth and get your clean. Okay, she's got some pretty good teeth too. You know, they're not too bad. I don't agree with this weird stuff that she's doing. Obviously the ASMR. But yeah, definitely don't be picking into your teeth like that. Ooh, you can cause that same black triangle damage. These really, these levels aren't too bad. We're definitely in the early stages. Teeth looking pretty good. Definitely, you know, we've got a little bit of gunk between the teeth here. So, you know, maybe we bump it up to a couple levels up, but honestly looking pretty good. All right, cleaning everything up. Ooh, doing a little bit of the polishing of the edges. Look at those. That's what your orthodontist does. He makes you get that Hollywood smile, baby. I like that. Okay, so first off, you know, as far as teeth goes, we do have a little gapping. We got some, a little bite issues. You know, obviously still really clean though. Um, just not perfect. Not that Hollywood smile, you know. Dude, hot Cheetos are the bane of my existence. Takis are the bane of my existence. What everybody breaks their brackets on. Let's see what, what is she doing after she eats these things? Oh yeah, so this is one of the issues that I see with stuff like, you know, Cheetos and things like that, is they compress down into the grooves of the teeth and even you can see between the teeth. And this stuff just sits there and it eats away, like the, the stuff eats away at it and turns it into acid and that's what causes cavities. So this is why we tell you to brush and floss. Weird, I know. Oh, well broccoli clean the teeth, let's see. This is interesting, I didn't think about that. Will broccoli clean the teeth? You know, chewing, the mechanical force of chewing actually does clean the teeth, so. Honestly, not too bad. Now, obviously she still needs the floss and she got most of that gunk out of there. Weirdly enough, broccoli did a pretty good job at cleaning your teeth. We're coming back in, obviously it's not a human, but the teeth are getting, now we're starting to get some plaque and calculus on them here. We're, we're leveling up. In dogs, this is pretty normal to have some staining like this. You just don't wanna see big deposits of nasty calculus and stuff. Yeah, he does, he's got the buildup of all that calculus on there. Okay. Wow, he's like legit cleaning his dog's teeth. That's wild. That's dangerous, honestly. Like, cause the tools we use to like scale people's teeth off, they're sharp. And if that dog moves, he could just rip into his gums and cut them. <laughs> Let's see what it looked like after. That's crazy. Dang, you can see the upper is way better getting off. The lower still needs some work, but that upper, man. Maybe I should start cleaning my dog's teeth. Like, I didn't, I didn't even think about that. You sure about oh, that? You no. Sure about that? Yeah. The dreaded braces. So it's kind of hard to see, but right here you've got the white spots. This is what severe white spots look like over your teeth. But basically it's where you didn't clean around your brackets and that acid starts forming and it starts etching around your teeth and causing these giant white scars on your teeth. They're starting cavities. And no, you cannot correct them. You have to get fillings to replace them or you can whiten your teeth to try and lighten up a little bit but that's why we tell you brush your teeth in braces so this doesn't happen to you we're, we're leveling up now we're leveling up oh no yo that's not good we got some grayness under the gums a lot of darkness this chick is not cleaning her teeth very well or brushing probably a smoker too just from the looks at it and she's flossing but what came out Look. oh yeah we're, it's getting worse, guys. Bro, this is why we tell you to floss your teeth, okay? And it smells, ter calculus tells, smells terrible too. If this is on your teeth, it's eating away at the bone of your teeth. Okay, so the fact that she knows all this, but yet she still has all that gunk between her teeth. Get your dental cleaning, what are you doing? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, so we were talking earlier we really jumped we jumped okay we jumped we jumped a couple levels here this is what i was talking about happens if you leave it there in the back of those teeth for a long time that is some nastiness okay so he's using an a piezoelectric scaler here these actually vibrate like a jackhammer and will just pop off those pieces honestly one of the most satisfying things i got to do as a dentist was do these cleanings. I know it seems disgusting, but honestly, it feels like you're on an HGTV show, <laughs> like cleaning up a house. Now he does have tons of probably bone resorption. You can see all the, you know, the redness and inflammation 
Those teeth are probably loose. Sometimes they even fall out. The teeth fall out when you do this type of stuff. Yikes. So you can see right here, this is the tooth and this is the gum resorption all the way. This is the root of the tooth. You're not supposed to see this. It's supposed to be completely covered in gum tissue, but it's dropped so much because of all that inflammation. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks like a King's Hawaiian roll. <laughs> <laughs> I might look at those a little different next time. Look at that, just fade away. And But you can see how much loss there is. Bone, this tooth is barely in the bone now. It ate away all of this bone just from sitting there. It's gonna get worse from here? Oh, that's pretty bad. This one honestly may not be as bad as the last one, but it's still pretty bad. Let's see how much root resorption is lost on this one. Wow, the redness is insane around that gum tissue. It means it's super inflamed. Not as much root loss yet. I mean, they caught it a little bit earlier, but it's on every single tooth, not just the front. That is bad. All right, let's see here. Oh, this guy doesn't have too bad of ones. Not too bad. Definitely don't go with the charcoal toothpaste, man. What are you doing here? And then wind in with the light. And that's with braces too. So, I mean, you're gonna have some sensitivity naturally from the movement of the braces, but using charcoal toothpaste is like using, it's like mini sandpaper on your teeth and will cause massive sensitivity. I actually had a bunch of patients come in and it was like for like a month straight, it was just everybody had super sensitive teeth. And I was like, what are you guys using? And they all had one thing in common. They all use charcoal toothpaste. There's no reason to whiten while you're in braces. I mean, just clean your, focus on cleaning your teeth first. All right, let's see, extreme dental cleaning before and after it's not too bad yeah it's a pretty good one this is just mainly staining not necessarily there's a little bit of the calculus but this is more likely from a smoker or something like that nice cleaned up well Wow, on the front of the teeth, that looked like some chiclets. Oh yeah, we're leveling up now. We've gone from calculus to now decay. There is a hole in a tooth. So it basically has decayed away and now there is just a giant hole. And so you know what gets in the hole? Those Cheetos and food and everything you were eating. It's basically a storage system for all your old food, like a garbage disposal. And you know what? It smells, it stinks, and it's just gonna get worse. Another reason to brush your teeth and floss with something nice, oral care products, of course. You know, the ones that I make that are amazing and better than everybody else, but yeah, the link in the description below, okay? You, you know what to do. Okay, let's see what we got here. Pulling something out of the back of the teeth. Oh, hold up. Oh, oh yeah, that's exactly what I was saying, so. That is a, a, a clot. She probably got her wisdom teeth out and she probably got a dry socket and the clot came out and they're pulling that clot out of the back. That was, that was, for some reason I get more grossed out by that than all the calculus on people's teeth. That was, yeah, that probably felt amazing. So we're going on the other side. Yeah, she got wisdom teeth removal. They're just removing either the old gauze or the clot or <laughs> Oh yeah, that's just, Ugh, that is disgusting. And now we've made it to level 100. Obviously, level 100 can't be that bad. I mean, we've seen some pretty bad stuff so far, haven't we? Let's see what level 100 is. Is my man's calculus so big they're using actual, like, uh, <laughs> use like garage tools to grab this thing and pull it out? That is huge. That is the biggest piece of calculus I've ever seen in my life. It has a tooth stuck inside of the whole tooth. It's hard to see, but there's a tooth in there. This is three prongs of a tooth. All right, uh, that was level 100. That was level 100, all right? Let's hope that you never get to level 100. So make sure to like, subscribe, and watch this video, or else you're gonna have level 100 teeth one day. And I don't wanna see that, so like the video. Bye!